Pig, whilst Dragon Metal's here, today I'll be showing how to geometrically wrap it and cage a 9mm bead. That's one of these things. That's what it'll look like when it's finished. And I will be showing how to build that. It's a little bit complicated. And these are all the materials that will be needing. Various different sizes of split rings from two millimeter upwards. And I've got lots of extras here just in case, along with a pair of calipers for measuring. So, this bead is nine millimeters, or at least it should be. Let's measure that. Yep, maybe pretty much exactly. So that's why I have them there. Measure it out. Can you say hi? Sitting in the grass here to build this thing. It says a little bit complicated, which I have some tools that are needed. There's the bead I will be using. So six very small two millimeter split rings here, and four eight millimeters. There might be nine millimeters. Uh, let's check. I'm not actually sure. They are eight millimeters. Fair enough. Eight and two millimeter split rings. So I'll be putting all these on one moment. You'll see why. That's six. Loads of birdies above in the cherry tree. So I'll close that split ring up. Now I'm going to be threading these three through two split rings each. Split rings, jump rings, whatever you want to call them. Tidy that up a little bit. One of them jump rings is not quite open. Have to do that again twice more. You will see why. There are different ways of me making these, but I like this method. It's a bit quicker and neater than what Google will tell you to do. So, you'll be aiming for that sort of radioactive symbol looking thing there. That's what the base of it should look like. The bead will be going in the middle of there. So. See what's going to happen there, those three are closed up. So we'll be using these three smaller split rings. This can be quite tricky. I'm 
and the bead can fall out as you've just seen. Got to be careful of that. We'll be doing that a lot. But it will happen a few times. Those are very, very fiddly things to make. Oop, losing that there. Jumping away from me. Oh, got that wrongly orientated. There we go. Now I need to keep that together while I attach split rings around. Three. Jump rings. Split rings. Well, there's a split in the rings and they jump to attach so both names are appropriate i guess Ooh, nearly lost that there last one okay Move all these upwards. So they look like that. Now you'll want two split rings along each of these three connections. So the reverse on the top with smaller split rings. It's quite tricky this, as the split rings are so small. And as is the bead, which will fall out regularly. Well, that would be very fiddly work. Make these nice things. It's best to put them on one at a time and on each edge first. So we've got some support to so add the other three. To use your nail to do this. There's a simple way to cage very, very small objects in a circular way. It's also geometric, so nicely fashioned and patterned. A bit like those shapes you make on a spirograph. Open that split ring a little bit more. There we go. So, there's the main shape completed. And the bead completely caged. Very pretty. Look at that. Looks nice in the light with the green reflecting through it. So, three more on the top and then the linkage to turn it into a pendant. Easy work now. All the fiddly bits are pretty much out of the way. Does hurt your eyes though. Working with components this small, I mean. Still delicate work, even finishing. So connect these three split rings together now to finish it off. So it dangles. There we go. Finished. One geometrically caged pendant.
very pretty, hope you agree. It takes a little bit of effort to wrap them, but it only takes about 10 minutes to do. And they will make for a very beautiful necklace or the evening pendants. And they look very cool in green with jade. But you could obviously use them with many other types of beads as long as they're around 8 to 1 centimeter, so 10 millimeters, either way. Well, till next time.